what is up so money glitch we're gonna have a look at this just to see how easy it is for doing so this is my first time doing this i watched a few videos so i know where it is and what to do but we're gonna see just how easy it is to do it as a noob so just so you know where we are we're here dynasty mausoleum entrance near where you fight morgan now if you if you're not sh too sure how we even get this here because it's part of a quest because um, to be able to get here you need this pure blood knights medal um, there's other video you can watch that I've done just explain how you get that or you could just YouTube or Google how to get the pure blood knight medal it's not particularly difficult but anywho so let's just say that you've got it and you've got here so where we wanting to head is basically straight in a straight line so drop down here get on the old horsey now there is going to be a giant skeleton now some people say on the videos hug this wall so let's go uh, just keep going in a straight line till you see this big tree up there oh shit that's over I may chill out. Fuck me. I mean, we made that a little bit harder than we did do. I think probably the easiest way is don't hug this left wall. Just go in a straight line. And you can see we're on the left hand side of the big tree. I know it looks like a cliff, but it's a tree. Now you can see up there, there's a couple of summons. I'm which are probably uh, telling you that's where you need to go. So let's have a go. So we're just going to double jump onto the wall. Uh, okay. And what we want to do is when we jump and the horse stops there, jump straight again to that point, which is a nice little ledge. Okay, so it's not as easy as it looks in the video, is it? Fucking, I will get you. If you uh, want to fast forward to when I, where I get it, feel free. There's just nothing there to... Fucking impossible. There we go. So we're on this nice little ledge and we're going to jump across to there, hopefully, and then, there we go. And we get this part. Now you see there's quite a few blood stains where people have messed it up. Let's have a look. Boom. Now, if you touch that wall, either of the walls, you'll die what you want to do is a double jump to get as far over that way as you can and as you're falling you just keep pressing the uh, swing your sword uh, let's have a look there we 
stop swinging. Once every five seconds, more than enough. So what we're doing here, this is uh, a falling glitch. So we've, we've jumped down into that hole in an area where the design is never meant you to be. And because we're swinging the sword, it thinks we're still just walking, not actually falling. And what's going to happen, um, doesn't seem to be a set time when it happens, but what will happen is every enemy in that area dies. So doing this is pretty much the equivalent to killing every enemy in the area. Sometimes you get the souls like instantly. Uh, sometimes I've done it about 20 times. There you go. And you see that's just given us not far off two, 200,000. So what we're going to do in a second, uh, you can't keep on falling and keep retrying it because all the enemies in the area are dead. So until you return to a, a shrine, you ain't going to get no more money. So I'm gonna, in a second I'm going to do one swing. Then I will quickly open the map and just jump back to where we were at the mausoleum entrance. So some people uh, quit out of the game. That takes too long. So all the enemies in the area will be dead. And there you go, you've got all your souls. Um, just while we're here, I'll quickly show you the uh, the other one. Now, if you've got... Let me see what I'm doing for time. Seven minutes. So, if you've got any little gold chicken's feet, or whatever they're called, pop one of them. I haven't got any left, but what I am going to do is... Uh, let me remove some of that crap. I'm going to have me little uh, golden scarab. Just increase my rooms a little bit. I'm just going to leave that blank for the second. So, what I like to do first is shoot this... Get out of the way. Shoot this little bird. Oh, big bird. And what will happen, he'll just run straight off. Now, if you're early on in the game and you don't have either the Blasphemous Blade or the Sacred Blade, you can just keep uh, shooting the birds and they'll just keep running off the edge. And, you know, you can get about 10,000 for each time the bird drops, so early game, that's not too bad for you. Uh, I mean, for mine, just to go up to the next level, I need 518,000. Now, this works either, I'll show you with the Sacred Blade first. These guys are pretty tough, so early game, you know, they quite easy one-shot you. There you go, see, it travels quite a bit, just pick them up. I'll uh, do it again here. And then what I like to do, just because they're right by us, is these guys. Get back on our horse. Now if you've just used the uh, chicken spot, I I think you get about five minutes or so. No, obviously, because you can't get the Sacred Blade till you've beat the game. I'll show you uh, another way of doing it. Fucking tree. I wish that tree would get out of the way. 
There you go. Half he goes. Whee! Goodbye. Nice little 10,000, thank you. So, I'll show you how you can do it with the other blade that does it quite well, is the Blasphemous Blade. So you stand about here. So you can see, not as good as the uh, Sacred Blade, but you can still do it. That's how I've done it. And as soon as you got this blade, which you, as soon as you get to the Volcano Manor and beat Rickard, you get this blade. Uh, probably, I think when I got to about level 5, you could pretty much one-shot all these guys. But uh, that is it. Two of the most common rune glitches, runes, whatever they're called. Um, more so for early game, because you can really... This whole area with the... Uh, lose me, Firkins, what do you call it? With my Sacred Blade. This whole area... You know, you, you get for doing this about 150,000. So early game... This is one of the best places to come, this is. But, anyhow, just a quick little video for you. Hopefully it helps some of you. The uh, the glitch jumping up the wall. Faffing around a little bit, but it wasn't too difficult. Anywho, any issues or questions, pop them in the comments. And, as always, toodaloo.